Hello and in this video I'll be showing you a new game that's just been released called Oaklands. So this is like a kind of like Lumber Tycoon 2 and Refinery Caves merged into one game because uh, in this game you can actually mine and cut down trees. There isn't much to it currently because it has just been released but there is a very simple to the game that teaches you how to play and there is only one score at the moment that you can buy stuff which is this one and uh, it's quite a grind to actually buy the first sawmill but once you have it all your wood or your logs will be worth a lot more than normal There are quite a few options that you can buy from with the store. But as of now, these are all that's in the game. You can't buy stuff from anywhere else that's useful. So to begin with, when you first start off, you're just going to have a very terrible axe, a very terrible car, and you're going to be forced to basically just drag trees to the nearest cell station until you get the first, like, almost $2,000 so you can buy that first sander. Uh, that sander does make the, the logs much more valuable, so it's definitely worth the time. Then after that, I bought a car and then an axe to help. This is just a lighthouse tower that I found next to spawn and I'll show you what's inside. A little hatch just uh, under the cliff next to the lighthouse that I showed you. If you go down and through the massive tunnel and then out, you're led, led to like some weird island and you get rewarded with the adventurer's badge.
there are actually achievements as well in this game and stats so here in, on this page you can uh, check your milestones so this is uh, all the stuff you can tick off over time just to maybe as a status symbol and you also get a badge from it as well and if you click that down arrow you can check your stats as well So this is the lowest level sand that you can get. So what you need to do for this is get uh, just a lot of wood and chop them up into like medium pieces, like each individual log. You can see the difference in texture and size on the actual log. Just chop it there and put it through and it should work perfectly fine. As you can see, I've just made much more money from that single drop off than all those other logs combined. It also has a very nice looking, very easy to navigate user interface with the settings. I like it, it looks good, it's not too much and there's just enough information for you to change how you want your game, how you want stuff to be set. There's the, also the property section where you can move stuff increase your plot size, open blueprints and that. And I only just realized that you can actually use the saw to basically give the same effect as the sand mill, whatever it's called. But um, it has to be a small piece, it can't be big. So you're gonna have to chop it down a lot more and it takes much longer to do. I skip straight to the second vehicle that you can buy because uh, I didn't want to buy another one of these cars just because it's slightly faster it still had the same amount of storage so I just saved up a little bit more I think it was an extra thousand bought this car it's got much more storage and it's also fast So the map isn't really that big, but in comparison of how slow you have to go, it is quite long to navigate around the entire map. There isn't much to explore, there's a map at the front section where the main store is that shows you all the places around, there's the abandoned mine, there's a secret mine off the side of this cliff on the beach. 
is that island that is not much. 